Hello, beautiful collective, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, yes, I'm at a different location in the house today. I've got company over, and this is like the quietest place in the house, okay? So I hope you don't mind the location change. I think it's absolutely adorable. But um, anyway, I'm here just checking in on the energy, right? Um, seeing what's going on, current energy today. All right. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. And thank you so much, everyone. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. It has been an amazing weekend. So, um, yeah, I hope you're out having fun, you know. Um, anyway, thank you, everyone. Thank you to all of my subscribers. Welcome to everybody new here. Okay, on the bottom of this deck, this situation is about to change. Okay. Um, there, yeah, there's a person who's coming in to talk to you. I'm going to leave these two cards out. Um, this is something that you were, you know, I feel like you were hoping at one point that this person would come back around. It's almost like you kind of knew they'd always come back, but then you went through a healing process and now, um, you're taking a stand for yourself. You know, you may not even want to communicate with this person anymore. I feel like, um, your feelings towards them have changed drastically. Like you do not trust this person anymore. And now you're very um, protective of yourself, your heart, everything that you've created. Um, but they've got this magnetic attraction to you that they just can't resist. Okay. This person could be a heavy drinker too. If, um, if they've been a drinker in the past, they're drinking more now trying to get the courage up to come in and finally talk to you. There's been no communication. They've been stuck in their pride, their ego. Okay, this person was very egotistical, possibly very arrogant. Um, thought they could walk away from you and, and they wouldn't, you know, they wouldn't feel that. Or um, that they thought they could easily get over you and they can't. Okay. This person, I feel like they put you in a third party with someone else, a karmic energy, and they got themselves stuck with someone. They settled for someone else. So this person, they could have even been in a relationship when they met you. Um, maybe you didn't know about that. I feel like they didn't tell you about that or they lied about it and you ended up in a third party, okay? Then they, they, they went back to this person from the past, settled for that person, okay? Maybe they were in a home situation. This could have been a, like, I've, I'm picking up on it. It could have been like a long-term relationship, um, and it was their comfort zone maybe, or, um, you know, that was what they were used to, and they just decided to stay in it. And then they got themselves further and further stuck in this. So this is a situation that could have been in separation for years. Okay. And no communication. And uh, yeah, this person totally backstabbed you, betrayed you. You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person could possibly be, I'm getting Virgo, Aries here off of this. Maybe a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're in a lot of regret for turning their back on you. Uh, I feel like you were a huge temptation for this person. Um, and I feel like the, the chemistry between you was crazy, okay? Uh, so yeah, they've, it, it's been impossible for this person to get you off of their mind. All they do is think about you. So now they want to take this leap of faith and come towards you. They want to take a chance. Okay. They're breaking up with um, whoever they were with in the past. I feel like they're going through a divorce here or some kind of legal issues. Um, they may have to owe some money to someone. They may be looking at paying some alimony, child support. I'm really picking up that money could be an issue for this person right now. Okay, but I feel like if they were in a commitment with someone else, um, they're, that's ending here. Okay, they could be completely cutting someone off like a cold, harsh cutoff. So they're not, they're no longer going to be with that other person, with the third party. 
or you know whoever they chose over you right um they're gonna end that situation because there's a lot of unrequited love here okay this person literally see they left you behind feeling abandoned okay but this person they're they've realized here that they're in love with you okay they've had this awakening this person is bossing up into like emperor energy so this i feel has been a long time in separation like a really long time um they've they've had to go through karma i feel like whoever they got with instead of you was actually their karma like um so they could have gotten with a karmic they they've been living without love for a very long time because they've been without you okay so i feel like the conclusion of this this is their decision that they're making they're making a decision saying um they want to take a leap of faith they want to start something new with you here okay um they're they're in a healing they're in the process of healing right now but we all are in the process of healing right now our healing never really ends we're constantly changing and healing and learning okay but um yeah they have learned a very harsh lesson it's taught them a lot i i, I feel like they they may have chose a situation that um they thought they would have more money in i feel like they were very materialistic okay so they misjudged you um they had this this hot chemistry between you two like it was very intense but they went back to this other person i feel like they may have had a business with them a property they could have even had children with them i feel like it was a codependent toxic relationship um, this person could have been bullied a lot in that relationship, okay? They could have had a lot of money squandered in that relationship because I feel like whoever they got with was using them. Um, they Both of those people could have the same kind of addictions as well, um, heavy drinkers, okay? This person's drinking over this now while they're thinking about everything because they're getting ready to make a life change, like a huge change. Getting this divorce, possibly a house move, okay? I feel like they may need to, it feels like they're going to abandon a home here, so they're leaving a home behind. This person is, they may even travel to your area, okay? I can see them, come, you know, moving closer to you because they're in a lot of regret so i feel like this person is about to approach you and confess all of this okay and it's gonna be soon it could be within the next five days anywhere from three to five days from now i feel like it's coming in very quickly they're gonna tell you they're so sorry they're gonna be begging you to forgive them basically okay this person may get very emotional as well during this talk so they could start crying, sweating, stuttering, acting kind of weird, okay? Uh, because it's going to be intense. They have to come towards you and t look you in the eye and tell you, look, I'm so sorry for doing you so dirty and leaving you behind, wrecking your heart and just leaving you there to heal on your own you know this person has to come forward with an apology for like the worst of the worst you know so they're going to be very emotional about it they may even you know get on their knees and beg for you for, for beg to you for forgiveness they really do want you back um they've gone through an awakening they've gone through some massive change here and they're bringing themselves a tower moment to wreck everything right that they know so they're going to be getting a divorce moving out leaving a lot of things behind um and to start this new beginning okay and they want to build a foundation back up the right way with you okay do you see what i'm saying so they're completely demolishing their life so that they can come towards you. And honestly, they want to. I feel like this person, they just, 
whoever they've been with, they don't love them. They know, they've known this whole time they were settling. When this person met you, there were some clear sparks. Like this, when they met you, those, they were, there were sparks between you. Okay. There was excitement. There was passion. Um, it, it was just, it was a beautiful, intense connection that this is what they want. They want this connection back. They want those sparks back. They want some love in their life. And they, they know that they only want you. Okay. So they, they want their soulmate back. They're telling you here they've been, they've been through a change. This person is change and changed and they're changing their whole life around to be with you, right? To be with you. This person realizes there's more to this connection that meet, than meets the eye. You know, they know it goes deeper, okay? Because they, the farther apart they get, the stronger their feelings for you are. You know what I'm saying? And now this person just wants you. They may even come to you with a proposal, okay? Getting on one knee, making you that love offer, wanting to get married. So this person is about to approach you. They want union. They want you back so bad. And they're in a lot of regret. And you're going to see the regret on their face, okay? Um, you're going to, you're, they're going to be standing right in front of you. You're going to watch them cry. Like, um, you're, you're just going to see it. And you're going to know. They're telling you the truth. They're coming in to tell you everything. They're taking the mask off. They're breaking the silence. And they're giving you the confession that you deserve, and the apology that you deserve. And possibly even a ring. Okay. All right. What else can you show me for my beautiful collective? This person, well, they could be any sign. I feel like they're an emperor energy right now. Um, but I'm picking up on heavy fire sign energy. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, heavy Sagittarius energy, and I'm picking up on air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and maybe Cancer, Pisces, or you could be a Cancer, Pisces. You know, here's another thing that I'm seeing too. You may take this person back. Um, I'm seeing this whole situation changing with this talk, okay, with what you see and your intuitively picking up on with this person in front of you this whole situation could possibly change you could very well come into union here okay i feel like the decision's going to be yours okay because you're doing really well now um without this person in your life but you're going to see and feel that they're bossed up into an emperor. Yeah, this could very well come into union. This is the Ten of Pentacles in this deck. Okay? All that glitters. Oh my goodness. I've been picking up so much, you guys, on union. Um, people coming into union. Yeah. And I feel like, you know what? I think you're going to go for it here um, because this person is coming in to fix this. And I'm just, you're going to pick up on these things about them while they're talking to you. You're going to know that they've, they've gone through a huge change. They clearly want to turn your, turn their life around and um, they want to heal this with you. Yes, they do. I feel like this is an empress, emperor energy coming together. Um, in the future, you could have a commitment and building generational wealth. I am seeing them possibly proposing to you here, okay? they You're going to see. They're going to put the work in, collective. They're going to put the work in. Yeah, I feel like you're both going to work on this together. You're both going to work on healing this connection. This is a union. This is two people coming back together. This is something that's faded and something that spirit is um, aligning, okay? Yeah, this is a faded union that's about to happen, you guys. 
And I feel like Spirit is saying that you're both ready. You're both ready now. This is being poised and ready. Okay. So, yeah, any day. I feel like this is going to happen any day. This could even have just happened over the weekend. You two could have talked. I feel like this is something that's going to go slowly, though. Um, so, yeah, congratulations, you guys. Um, take your time. Get to know each other all over again because you've both changed on this journey, okay? You've both gone through changes here. So um, you need to you need to get to know the the real you, okay? You see what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I feel like um, this is this is something that you may have wished for, or prayed for in the past. This person's coming back around. I, I'm seeing you two getting back into union, putting in that work to heal this connection, and. Um, maybe even accepting a, a proposal, getting engaged, married in the future, building a family, generational wealth. And this is what you've been wishing for here. This is faded. Yeah. Congratulations for whoever this is for. Okay. Um, anyway, this is absolutely beautiful. Um, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. If you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, you guys, join this awesome soul tribe, and until next time, everyone, take care of you, and peace out.